Um, the aim of this video is to analyze in New Zealand uh, Scrum and their Scrum process. Um, New Zealand are very uh, consistent with their process. Um, they have very good body shape. Um, they have been scrummaging like this for quite a while now under the godfather of Scrum coaching, Micron. They place uh, quite a lot of emphasis on their strike. They have a good strike, so they can get a very potent backline going. We can see from this view that their loose head and their hooker work very hard to try and split the opposition tight head. Their locks scrummage fully on their props. You can see here um, the right side lock. Um, he has his shoulder fully connected with his prop at all times with his tight head uh, but because um, of the pressure from Australia a slight gap formed between the tight head and the hooker and uh, he basically went with his uh, tight head and his shoulder came away from uh, the, his hooker they don't mind that if that happens uh, the process is to go with the prop again the stick, stick to their process it doesn't matter who's in or out of the team each person uh, scrummages the same way um, their loose heads tend to come in um, at quite an angle and they were penalized a bit in, in the world cup so we'll see if they change that in the future You'll also notice their number eight uh, is in good connection with his second rows at all times. And their second rows um, have two knees off the ground at all times. They're on their feet the whole, as opposed to Australia who had two knees on the ground. So we play through and notice how the loose head and hooker try and really attack and split the opposition tight head. So we can see here our, our loose head is going in at a slight angle and also my hooker is scrummaging straight. He's trying to split loose tight head and hooker and my loose head is coming across to disrupt. So again, we have the angle here coming in slightly. Hooker straight. You also notice here, okay, our lock, there's separation between the hooker's hip and the lock shoulder, okay, but he has his right shoulder in complete contact with his prop. This has happened because of pressure, but their process is to go with the prop even if you have to leave the hooker, need shoulder contact with the prop at all times. So let's play it through and see what's happening. You said the hooker and the second row. You will also notice that number eight shoulders are in complete contact with his locks so he can fire them into the Australian number eight who lifts his second rows on the bind call. Um, for more videos, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and check out my website at thescrumdoctor.com. Thank you.